Okay guys, welcome back to the Drunk Planet. Today we are looking at the LEGO Star Wars Luke Skywalker's X-Wing Fighter. This is one of the new 2021 LEGO sets. It has just hit the stores in the last week or so. And I cannot wait to build this. X-Wings are one of my favourite ships in the Star Wars universe. And this comes loaded with some really cool minifigures. We've got Luke, Leia, General Dodonna. Uh, not too sure who that is, but he looks cool. <laughs> and R2-D2, of course. Now, what's cool about this set is it comes at a much more affordable price. I believe the previous X-Wings averaged around 80 to 90 pounds in the UK, whereas this set will set you back only 44.99, which is crazy, especially when you look at the size of this box. This is a big, beefy box. It feels like a proper expensive bit of kit. I cannot wait to jump in. Anyway, let's build. Okay, in terms of minifigures, first up we have X-Wing pilot Luke Skywalker with his trusty blue lightsaber. Luke comes with an alternate expression, which seems to be some kind of friendly smirk. Next up is R2-D2. Next is Princess Leia herself. She comes with a handy blaster. She also has an alternate expression on the back of her head. And last but not least is General Dodonna, and for the first time ever in Lego form. So for all you Dodonna fans out there, you have struck gold. He also comes sporting an alternate facial expression on the back of his head. He comes with what I like to refer to as the Doc Brown hairpiece. Okay, and we are back. That was a lot of fun building this. I am 
honestly quite blown away by this set. Now I would like to mention I do not own any previous X-Wing Lego sets. I had one when I was a kid, but that was probably about, I don't know, 15 years ago now. And that one definitely does not compare to this. This is amazing, absolutely amazing. The best thing about it, for me personally, is the price point. This is £45 and you are getting one hell of a deal. Really good value for money. Incredible value for money, actually. I would happily have paid really up to £60 for this, maybe £70. Let's take a deep dive into the build itself. It was relatively simple for the most part. I found the center piece, this part here, which is I assume where the engine would be. This was quite difficult. There's a lot of Technic pieces in here, and if you are new to LEGO like myself, or you haven't built LEGO for a long time, it was quite complicated, I found. But if you follow the instructions, I'm sure you'll be able to build it. I eventually did, it just took a bit of trial and error, because some bits were put in the wrong places, a lot of the bits looked the same, and it wasn't traditional LEGO, it was a lot more Technic LEGO pieces, I believe that is the term. Bionicle pieces is what I know them as. It's a very sturdy X-Wing. It doesn't break easily. It's a, it's a it's a heavy. Well, <laughs> you can't make that up. Now the set isn't perfect. I do have some issues with it. Mainly one of them, and this is quite a big issue in my opinion, is the landing gear here. So you have these three bits here. These are fine. Main issue is with this one. So even if you touch it, it falls. It's not in there securely. It comes out super easily, but the part it's attached to doesn't seem right for it. I've never known to put a clip like this into one of these. And it, it just falls out really easily. Which, it's not a big deal, you know, you can still get it to work. But my biggest issue is, in the film, obviously the landing gear goes into the Starfighter. You can't do that. This is permanently out. Which is a shame because, again, if you look at it in the film, that's, that's just not how it looks. These go in. So when you're flying, if you're pretending to fly this thing, you're always going to have this sticking out. Unless, you know, you want to modify it and pull it out yourself, which I think you probably can. Well, I say that, then you have this <laughs> yellow bit sticking out, which isn't good at all. In fact, that's somewhat worse. So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that, if I'm being honest. Another small problem I have is with the the wings. There are a few issues here. As you can see, they don't quite close up. There is a gap in the wings. And these bits here are a bit loose. There's a bit of gappage here. It's not tight, which, you know, isn't a deal breaker. But then if, if you shake the thing, they're going to rock around. Which, uh, yeah. These are minor nitpicks. I think overall this is a really cool set. In terms of the look of the X-Wing... It's pretty accurate to the film. I believe the wings should be slightly longer. I think in previous sets they were slightly longer. And the nose here looks a bit off. I think it looked better in previous sets. The back looks really cool. I like how this looks. You've got these lasers here. Or like these, these purple jet engine parts. Look awesome. Unfortunately, because this is a play feature, these missiles stick out, but you don't have to have them in there. It comes from that, I think the overall aesthetic is really cool. It looks good. Next is the playability. What features does this thing have? And uh, it has a few, it has a few. Obviously you can open the cockpit, so you can put Luke in himself here. He goes in like so. You can close that down, looks great, fits in well. R2, you can take and stick in the top here. And as you'll notice, he doesn't go fully in, which is another problem with the set. But again, for the money, for the money you are paying, I still think this is a great value. It's great for collectors and for kids if they want to build it and play with it. It's not going to break easily. It's sturdy. It looks good. It looks good on the shelf. But yes, this is a minor nitpick. R2 does stick out slightly at the top. Another play feature is obviously the lasers that I previously mentioned. They fire. <laughs> they, they have so much force behind them. I'm surprised when I shoot them. I'm worried I'm going to shoot my eye out. And they only take the slightest little nudge to fire as well. They're quite scary. And the biggest play feature of this 
is you push down on the top here, the wings open up like it does in the film, which looks excellent. That's so cool. I really like that. Unfortunately, you will need a stand if you wanted to, to display it like this, which I do not have, because as soon as you put it on the on the floor, they close back up, which makes sense. That's just, that's just physics. That is it for set 75301 Luke Skywalker's X-Wing Fighter 2021 set. Overall, I think this is a really good set. Great value for money. If you don't previously own an X-Wing like myself, I highly recommend going out and getting this. It's very affordable, it's very fun to build, and it looks great on a shelf. Or great to play with. Anyway guys, I will catch you soon. This has been The Junk Planet and I am signing out.